Hello, and welcome to this new type of video I'm going to try. It's something that I've really wanted to do, and I've really been interested in trying out. I mean, I know there are dozens of other people breaking down the trailers, going shot by shot, showing you what's in the trailer and what they think is going to happen. I've seen some of the trailers. I've even watched the first eight minutes that they have here on YouTube. But I wanted to give my predictions and my thoughts as to, A, what I'm expecting out of Season 4 of Stranger Things and what... Mm, I hope will happen, but no guarantees. But before I jump into that, I just want to say, if you are planning to attend the special live stream I'm having this Wednesday at 5 o'clock, that should still be on, and you are going to hopefully enjoy it. Uh, there will be giveaways and prizes, um... I don't know about prizes, but giveaways for sure. I'll be giving away movie codes. There'll be a special announcement at the very beginning of the live stream. And I'll repeat the special news at the end of the live stream. Um, yeah, so I really hope you'll check it out. Uh, you might notice some discrepancy. Um, I've been having a lot of issues with YouTube over the past month or so. Where... Videos are getting copyright claimed, and sometimes I've had to re-upload. Um, the reason I'm making this video right now, A, because I wanted to do it, and B, because when I put out a video, I think it was last Friday, yeah, last Friday, um, it said I was already at 200. But the day before, it said I was at 98. And it didn't... It took a while for the system, I guess, to process it. And I tried deleting an, an older video that didn't matter anymore. It was a really old channel update. So now I was actually short a video. So that's one reason why I'm making this video now. But I have another system called TubeBuddy. And that one still says now that I'm up to 200. And it isn't going down. Maybe that's it's going to take a while. But before, it was the one that I was following when it said I was at 196. Then 197. Now suddenly it says I'm at 200. So I'm making this video. As far as I'm concerned with this video and the video I have coming out later today, this is going to be episodes 198 and 199 and the one i'm doing on wednesday the live stream i do wednesday will be the 200th so even if it's not the 200th it's in celebration of doing over 200 episodes whatever you want to call it but it'll be a live q a it'll be a fun time we're gonna watch hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy I really hope you'll enjoy. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into this predictions and hopes, I guess, video for Stranger Things Season 4. So, let's start this off by recapping what we know from previous seasons. So back in season one, Eleven escaped. Will was taken to the Upside Down. Now, I'm bringing this up because there's going to be something I'm going to mention later on. But this key moment is something I think that should really play into season four. Because no other character has gone like Will has to the Upside Down. Or like Eleven has to the Upside Down. I mean, others have gone in through portals created by the Demogorgons. 
but the demigorgons are the only ones who have been able to cross. So I find this a little odd, but we'll get into that later. So then they end up finding Eleven. They end up working with Eleven, and they end up getting Will back. And she ends up saving the day, but she teleports herself to the Upside Down by doing what she did to the Demogorgon. Okay. So, into Season 2, she actually got out of the Upside Down shortly after going into the Upside Down, and she was roaming around the woods, and Hopper found her, started taking care of her. All the events of Season 2 played out with, you know, Dar... or da, No, oh crap, what's his name? Um, Dartania... Dart for short. Um, and we were introduced to Max and her brother. And we got the sense that her brother was a racist. And they made him very unlikable. Also in this season, there's been this budding romance between Nancy and Jonathan. Which finally kind of come into play when Nancy breaks it off with Steve. And then starts being with Jonathan, basically. Then we go into season three. And there's this whole thing with the Mind Flayer being in our world. Now, being that there are going to be a lot of points, I'm not going to keep going. I mean, you basically, if you follow the show... You should know what happens. <clears throat> so. Here's what I'm expecting from season four. Back in season two. We got an episode. Where. Eleven went off. To find. Others like her. And we ended up coming across. The information. As she did. That. Papa. Papa or whatever the scientist's real name is, Brenner, I believe it was, is still alive. Now, a lot of people are speculating that this new villain is going to be um, Max's brother, Billy, but I actually think it's going to be him. I think it's going to be Brenner. I would like it to be Billy. Because it would be cool to see him come back. But I think he's dead. We saw his body. It wasn't like he was absorbed by the Mind Flayer. He was actually like stabbed to death. So, for some reason, I'm just guessing, I don't think it's going to be him. Now, going back to the whole Will and Eleven thing from Season 1, I think we're going to get some realization that... I mean, if you've seen the first eight minutes, you know what the first eight minutes of the first episode's about. So I think it's pretty safe to say that we're going to find out that Will has something inside him. Some sort of genetic thing that makes him like Levin. They may not have exactly the same powers, but he's like all these other children that had powers. And I think we're going to learn that finally and or confirm that I should say that's why I think the mind flare has been after will because it needs one of these special children with special powers in order to take a host in our world we may even learn that possibly even Billy was like that but you know that would be interesting to find out. Interesting to see. 
Because it does make the question come up. The Mind Flayer ate up. At the end of Season 3, it basically ate up all those that were infected. Yeah, it could take their it could take control of them. It could take over their minds, but it ate every last one of them up except for Billy. Why was it saving Billy? And I think that's going to play a major part. Not Billy himself, but the whole thing with, you know, there's something in the certain people similar to, like, the Force in Star Wars, that's going to make it where, huh, why are these people exempt? And I think we saw the beginning of Will's powers back at Season 1 when he got scared. I think he teleported himself into the Upside Down. Now, of course, moving on to the next topic, we all know we're going to get Hopper back. That's a given. I am really hoping they're going to explain how he was saved. Because there are a lot of theories going around. The biggest theory is that he jumped into the open gate before it shut. But that doesn't make a lot of sense. There is a ladder at the front of the laser that he could have, you know, oh, I'm going to slide down. And maybe it was far enough down where it was saved him, but he got caught by Russians at the bottom. That's possible. And that actually seems to be the most likely. I don't think he would have jumped through the gate. Because here's the problem with that theory. While it is a good theory, and it is an interesting theory, the problem was is that the Russians couldn't open the gate anywhere but within Hawkins. They needed to be in Hawkins to open the gate. They tried to do it in Russia, and they failed. Now, yeah, true, maybe over the course of that year, since they figured out how to open the gate in Hawkins, they were able to recreate that and began working on redoing it in Russia. But I think we're going to, I think it's going to be just quick, easy, simple. He slid down the ladder, ran for safety, but ran into Russians who were evacuating. They knocked him out, took him captive. That's what I believe is going to happen. But I am curious what your guys' thoughts are, so let me know down in the comments below. Now moving on to Eleven herself. Now, this is something I'm expecting will probably take a good half of the season. This first bit, I think we're going to get, you know, parts of it are going to be Eleven... Isn't even hasn't even been trying to use her powers. I think after a little while of moving to California, I think we're going to learn that she basically gave up. But now things are happening, and I think that's where, like you know, that one scene in the trailer with um, Paul Reiser's character comes in, and I think you know because she doesn't have, she, as far as she's concerned. She doesn't have her powers anymore. And since she hasn't been trying, she has no power. So I think that then they're going to try to do some kind of like hard reboot or something. They're going to try to push her to get her to start using her powers again. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see where that goes but i i mean it's almost a guarantee she's going to get her powers back i mean that's kind of what the fans want to see is 11 with her powers and i think that in the second half when she has her powers back we're going to build up to a big showdown 
And I think the reason why I brought up the whole stuff with Will is because I think because of her, I think Will's going to start to learn he has some different powers maybe or some similar powers to hers. And I think that's going to play an issue too. I think they're going to try to work that in so they work together. That would definitely be interesting to see. Now moving on to some of the other side characters. Uh, Of course we're going to learn what the other group has been up to in Hawkins. And how they're adapting. I don't know if we're going to get a new character. Someone new to the group who took the place of Will. Um, I think Max is basically going to be that person. That replacement. But I wouldn't be surprised if they bring in a new kid. What I really want to see, because she was such a good part, even though it was so brief, I want to see more of Susie. I want to see more Dustin and Susie in this up in this season. I'm really hoping they do something with her. I did not just say, oh, well, we broke up over the year. You know, that would be stupid because that that was actually really good. Yeah, it was just them seeing a never-ending story. But she seemed to be on the same kind of level of intelligence as some of the others. If not smarter than some of the others. So I would definitely love, I mean, it would be highly unlikely that maybe she moved to Hawkins. But that would definitely be interesting if she, if her family actually moved to Hawkins because it was right nearby. And who knows? Um, as far as Maxine and the others, I mean, they're always just kind of there. I am looking forward to seeing more about uh, Steve, though. I was really extremely disappointed with the end of season three when he confessed he had been falling in love with that girl he's been working with Robin and he confessed his love and now she suddenly a lesbian that really ticked me off I was very disappointed I felt like They just smacked me in the face with building up hope that, oh, he's going to get a good love scene or good love partner, you know. And then, nope, just took it away. What I'd actually like to see moving forward is they're still friends. More crap happens to them. And basically, she reveals that Yeah, she's into women, but she's willing to give Steve a chance. And she realizes how much she loves Steve. And, you know, I'm not saying it changes her, but she's willing to be in a relationship with him. That's what I would really like to see. Unfortunately, we live in this crazy time where I don't think that will happen. I'd love it to happen. It'd be awesome if it happened. But I highly doubt it will happen. So. um, Let's see. Is there anything else? I do think the two groups are ultimately going to converge back at Haw- Hawkins, Indiana. Um... The only thing I'm really, really thrown a loop for is Hopper. I can, I mean, we have to get Hopper back on Hawkins soil. But, but how are they going to do that is the question. Because he's all the way in Russia. Unless the upside down 
acts like a quick portal between the two. And remember, the port, the gate is shut on this side, on the side of Hawkins. So even if there was an open gate in Russia, how are they going to do that? You know, it doesn't look like it's just a quick, you know, it's not like a Stargate. It's just seems very weird. And it's like, how is he going to get there? Because I highly doubt the Russians are going to transport him back to Hawkins. And I don't think anybody in the group has the money or power to go and get him. Especially since everybody in the group thinks he's dead. But there was this scene in the trailer where Joyce is opening a package with a ton of stamps from Russia. And I'm like, okay, they let him send a mail? That doesn't seem quite right. I don't know. It's just really weird. I'm um, kind of hoping that maybe... He, see, here's what I think. Even though we saw a scene with Murray, I was kind of thinking maybe, you know, being the paranoid person he was, Maybe Murray has been keeping tabs on the Russians, trying to find out more about, you know, what's going on with this whole underground facility and backtracks it all the way to this Russian base. And I thought maybe he was going to get Hopper. Maybe like infiltrate or get some information for the government. That was, you know, running these experiments and stuff. That was my thought. You know, I figured he'd be involved. But we see him. And he looks like he's in the desert. <laughs> with a white t-shirt and shorts. So, I don't think he's going to be the one who went looking and coming across Topper. So... I don't know, but we find out at the end of this week, and I honestly, I cannot wait. I think it's going to be a blast. I hate that they're splitting it up. Oh, it irritates the crap out of me, because we've been waiting for almost two years now because of world events that I don't know if we're allowed to talk about yet on YouTube, so I'm just going to say world events, and... Oh, it feels like forever since we got more Stranger Things. So, I'm definitely looking forward to it. If you have any thoughts or any comments that you want to make about what you're expecting or hoping to see come in the new season, please feel free to comment down below. I love to read your comments. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I will talk to you all next time. Bye.